Hello everyone, welcome to this video on Tricks Real-Time Scenario Questions. In this video, we will be creating Altrix documentation using the tools and the formulas. So we will get an input as an YXMD file, which will be any workflow. Then we will be converting it into two graphs. One where we will be showing the formulas which are being used in the workflow and next would be the tools which are being used. Now let's see the input for this file, this workflow which we are going to use. In a video number 31, I guess we had created the relative strength index indicator. So in this, we will be using this as a sample. You see the tools which are being used and now let's see the output which we will be getting. Most of the tools are used one times. So if you see report header, all tricks, select, select is used once. DB file input that is also used once because we were using SSMS here. Tools which are used multiple times, let's count. Formula is used three times. This multi row formula is also used three times, which shows here. And the tool containers are twice. So one is this container and one is this. So this is the output which we are expecting. Apart from that, we are going to document the formulas as well. So let me see the formula here. Here it shows the formula for gain. And this is the one if change is greater than zero, then change as zero and if. So we'll be taking for tool ID 29. So here we see the tool ID which is 29. For field gain, the formula for field gain is, if you see, the same thing is being copied. There's a difference in the one which we see for loss because you see there are some special characters being used here. So this special character symbolizes a new line because I have used it in different lines. If you want to omit it, you can write it in a singular line. Purposely, I have shown this for difference. Then we have RS, RSI, and RS, RSI, and RSI. One other one is for rounding off. So this is RS, this is RSI, and lastly, we have again used it for rounding it off. So we see the exact formulas are being used here. Now, let's get started with the workflow. First of all, we take an input which is a YXMD file. Make sure to the file format should be comma separated and for delimiters just mark it as none. So if you mark it as none, it will show a slash zero which is equivalent to no delimiter. If you use delimiter which is the comma, it might fail for the workflows which are huge of having multiple. Even for my workflow, it was failing so I have used as it has no delimiter. This is how it will get as an input and you see there are lots of spaces in the front because we are not using any delimiter. Every line is considered as a single line. Next task would be to create, uh, to trim this spaces and this is the output. In next I am filtering out all the nodes where we have this GUI settings plugin. The reason is to get this UX YXMD file, you can just right click and open the file and drag the YXMD file. It will automatically create the XML version. Okay, so we were at why we are going to use the tool. Okay, so if you see GUI settings plugin. This line will always specify what tool is being used. For that purpose, we are filtering out these lines. Plugin I'm adding because there is a closing tag as well since it is XML. After it is extracted, this would be the output. We will get all the containers which are being used. So 15 of them are there. Next task is just to group by the nodes and count them so that we get the count of it. 
Now we'll just try to format this. For that, we will be using text to columns where I'm separating the nodes based on equal to. So GUI settings plugin comes in one and the other part goes in the second one. Again, we'll use for the second column which was being created here, we are again going to use a dot delimiter to split into three. So if you see carefully, there are dots here. There is one dot which is for this, then there is one formula and again there is the other formula with the quotation. So 21, 22, 23, these are the three columns which are getting created. Moving on to our formulas. We would be needing all these columns, which is 22. But apart from that, we would need few other things. So here is report header. So report header does not have this line all tricks based plugins you are written. To format this, what I have done is I've just replaced the backs, whatever we call this, I forgot. Uh, this one with a with no space, and then I'm replacing the quotes which is here in the report header with nothing. One thing to note while we are using this quotes, right? Since everything is used inside quotes, we will have to use escape character. The escape character here is single quotes. Inside single quote, I have put this double quote so that it is used, it will be used for replacing, otherwise it won't. It would be considering it as a blank string. If we are using two quotations like this. Now this is done and last task is to create the tool. So what we'll do if 21 starts with all tricks, which is this line, then take 22. Else if it starts with portfolio, then take again 22, which is compose the re render here. If not, then take this report header. So output is going to be here. We will get the report header as well as the composer render. Most of them are common, but only for these two, we have to use the formula. Now I select to just select the tool and the count. Then we are sorting it, passing it to an interactive bar graph, which is a, just a simple one. Bar graph with x axis as tool, y axis as count. In this split, I have just split it based on the two so that there are different colors. And for the color part, I have used a diverging color. The layers, we can see that by type, I have used a diverging color and just the basic formatting. For this, I have just passed it through a layout which will show us the chart in the horizontal form. Now let's move on to our other part. The other part, we would need the tool ID and we would need the formula. This is an actress formula. Let's see the block. Okay, so each formula starts with a node. Each tool actually starts with a node and ends with the node. There is a tool ID, and inside that, under the formula field, we have the formula. What I'm going to do, I'm going to extract this entire block as one. Okay, then I'm going to assign each of them in the single node number, which is 29 for all the rows, and then going to filter out the formula fields out of it. In this way, I'll be getting both the tool ID and the formula field. We'll take our input from previous one. So we'll take out, or we'll create a formula that if the node contains node tool ID, then take the node else, give it blank. This is the line which we are taking. And our output is we are getting all the lines or rows where tool ID is present. So this is tool ID 1. And these all things are inside tool ID 1. So we are putting them as null. Because we are going to fill these blanks going forward. Then tool ID, same happens for the other. Next task will be just split that and get the value of one. For that, I have used text to columns. Delimiter is quotes. 
and this is normal one so i get t2 where i get the value say a one two like that next would be to fill the blanks here so for that we can use a multi row formula okay before that i just used one more thing so at the bottom of this file there are connections being used but which this is irrelevant which we don't need at all i'm just removing this part we need only from here this connections is just the input and output which is being shown to filter out these parts i've used a formula where i'm calculating if the row minus one node one second if the row minus one node is connections inside this brackets which is this connection this is connection so this is the line which we are referring then the value for this i'm getting flag here so it's connections so at this line the previous line is connections so it is creating this flag as connections then all condition is there where i'm checking if row minus one of flag is equal to connection so if i come to this row this is row and row minus one is assigned as connections by the previous formula so this is true that's why the other rows gets it as connections with the same looping formula else no so everything which is about this is no next we can just filter out the flags which are no so that we don't get get the connections now we had our t2 which is here and to fill the blank we'll check if is null of t2 then row minus 1 t2 else t2 and we'll end it so if we go to the output see this is this was null right if it is null then take the previous value of t2 this is how we are able to fill all the blanks so all the columns will have a two line now which will make it easier for us to extract it next just to select to get the nodes and the value of the t2 node ids now we will be creating the formula out of it for the first step what we'll do we checked it here all the formulas are going to have a formula field okay inside the expression the formula will be written this is the formula and then we here will be the field which is the gain or the column for which the formula is being written these are the two things which we will need we will need this and then we will need this first we will create a formula if the node contains formula field expression then nodes as null so we are just using that column or just this one will be extracting and other ones which do not have the formula will be just putting it as blank let's check our formula so this are nulls where the formula has come it so this line 158 had the formula so we are getting the formula here next thing is to just remove few of the values here so if we see here in the formula we don't need the size and double so i'm just removing it using the substring so i'll use a substring where i'll take the formula starting from zero to the position where the word size equal to is being found you can find the string formula size so two functions are being cascaded here so it will take this value for us and will omit the other one this is what is happening here remove okay so only till field we are getting it then our next task would be to remove this part which is not relevant this one so we are using a replace here we we'll pass in the previously created column which is remove and we'll pass in what we had to remove and we'll again have to pass what we have to replace it with so we are going to replace this entire word with nothing finally we'll create the formula which is 
will use string for tool id t2 so here tool id 29 the formula for the formula for this string plus we are getting the substring of the new formula which is a previous column from find the string where field equal to is there until we the end because we have not specified the end character so it is going to take this value for us so for field is equal to gain is again substring starting from zero to the field so this is will bring us a formula which would be this one now we'll just filter out the ones where formula is not empty because other places we have assigned it as null is select to get the relevant formula column only passing it through a table which will create a just a normal edit formatted table no formulas at all passing it through a layout again the orientation is horizontal then to join these two orientations we have to use a join where i'm joining by record position After this, we are again passing it through a layout where I want to keep the layout first and then the right layout, which means the bar graph first, which is from here and then from right, we are getting a table. The table is below. In the orientation, I have assigned vertical with section breaks. So there are multiple options you can use as per your convenience. Then a normal report header with the title and the date included. And finally, the render tool and then here in the render tool for the data field i'm using the layout and for header i'm using the header and i'm checking this show header and footer on first page so this is the output which we are getting we'll get the heading we'll get the date we'll get the tools count with the bar graph which is going to show us all the counts for the tools which are being used and other one is the formulas so for all tool ids we'll get the what is the formula being used i hope you found this video helpful if so, please subscribe to the channel for more such videos and thank you so much for watching.